Good morning, YouTube. If you haven't realized it yet, we are down in Manti, Utah, home of where Big Daddy Ed Roth spent the last portion of his life. If you don't know who Ed Roth is, he was an artist, he was a car designer, he was... Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. He's very popular and well-known in the uh, hot rod and muscle car world and he started a long time ago airbrushing t-shirts um, a lot of people who used to smoke back then wanted to wear a t-shirt but they wanted a design on it on the, like the pocket yeah so the t-shirts with the pockets he would airbrush a little design and then next thing he was quickly climbing the road to fame uh, he ended up designing what we know as rat fink today and you see his artwork everywhere a lot of people don't know who it is or understand it but growing up close to mickey mouse and disneyland and that being the cutesy um, little fairy tale world for good boys and girls he wanted something a little bit more risque and um, bad bad <laughs> yeah bad so he came up with the rat feet so yeah, everything that we know about him is mostly hearsay, so if it's not 100% accurate, it's just stories that you come to this and you hear people talking, and he grew up in California, um, went on a road trip with a friend, ended up in Manti, um, where he met his wife, Eileen, and um, not sure the timeline of that, but he passed away about 20 years, and Eileen and her kids. Uh, started the Rat Fink reunion. This is its 20th year and it's huge. I mean, it's insane how many people are here and how many, I mean, we're like probably the only two people that don't have a Rat Fink shirt on today, so. We're kind of sticking out a little bit. But they've done an amazing job carrying on his legacy and. Um, a lot of people might wonder why Manti, Utah? He kind of started getting sick and tired of the rowdiness and the California lifestyle and him and a buddy went road tripping and when they came driving through Manti they said this is it, this is the place, kind of like when Brigham Young came to Salt Lake City. So he hopped off the bandwagon and uh, started life here in Manti, Utah and after being here he met Eileen Roth, her name wasn't Roth at the time but Eileen who worked at the county assessor's office, I believe. And they started dating, got married, and a lot of the people here had no idea who Ed Roth even was, except for the local Sunday school teacher or the brother Roth who worked Sorry, at the guys. temple. You're good. And so it was at that point that 
Eileen, once he passed away, decided, Manti needs to know who Brother Roth is, and really started pushing this reunion. Our video will show you can go to their house. Um, they have a huge museum there. It's all in her yard. They, you can tour their personal home. Um, they've just really opened it all up and are so welcoming and kind. And it's just like a big family reunion. It is. Everybody here is family, and they honestly treat you that way. If you've never been to the Rap Fink reunion, you're totally missing out. It's the first weekend in June or every year, and it's here in Manti, Utah, about two thirds of the way down the state. It's a very quiet little town, so if you think you're going to come and blow your motors and drag race up and down the strip, might not quite be like that, but you might get away with it once or twice. But anyways, it's a nice little community, and I think they're very blessed to have Eileen in their community as well. So let's go look at some more cars and artwork and more rat things. Everybody needs a coffin motorcycle, right? All right, guys, so I'm here with Mason from Evanston, and Mason built an unbelievable car. Check this out. This is a coffin car, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about it. So it was, uh, got the idea from the TV show, The Monsters, always wanted one, just money was tight. And so this is what it turned out to be, you know, a couple four-wheeler parts and a Model, Model A frame that had laid around the ranch, and this is what it turned out to be. So, it, uh, it's just unbelievable. It's so different than anything I've seen, and I saw it getting backed in here and had to find out what what mastermind would be possessed to create this it's awesome thank you what's under the hood so it's it's a mixture of all sorts of parts it was a suzuki four-wheeler that the motor got blew up and we put a honda motor in it and then stretched it and just made it work and been here ever since going to car shows when we can so i heard a wicked rumor I heard that you can actually ride wheelies in this. Yes, only in open fields because uh, it kind of gets a little hairy. And like I said, money's tight, and when you go a little crazy, it tends to cost you at the end. Yeah, well, awesome job. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Thank you. So, is this your car? Yeah. And that one's yours? That's cool. Where do you guys ride them at? What? Where do you drive them around at? Well, we like to take car shows. We we'll like to go to like a hotel close to our destination and we will just drive them. That's cool. Yeah, we will just go around. Or if it's not, we'll park with our grandpa's truck with the trailer and we'll just drive them out and bring them to the car show. That's pretty sweet.
but I got a bunch of subs. These are, I've been not been taking very good care of these ones. But, uh, hey. I can't get away from this guy everywhere I go. Keep on following you. He's following me.